Hey culty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner and I'm back with a fun little sneak peek snippet type video to share with you today. So today I'll be showing you the machine quilting on this beautiful butterfly blog and I hope you're all able to find a little bit of inspiration from this block or from this quilt to use on your own quilts. Now if you do want to see more of this whole quilt, you know, take a little bit deeper dive into my machine quilting with me, make sure you check out my Patreon page. Over on Patreon I do share more detailed videos where I walk you through my process of quilting a whole quilt. So a lot more educational. I'll post the link below and you can check that out. But in the meantime, let's get to this video. Before we do get to the video, I do all of my quilting on a Gamel 22 inch machine. My favorite stitch length is 12 stitches per inch. On this particular quilt, I'm using so fine thread on the top and then one layer of quilter stream wool and bottom line thread on my bobbin. So let's get to the video. I love the look of Stitch in the Ditch. So you'll notice in most of my machine quilting videos that I am most often using my 4-in-1 or one of my other machine quilting rulers to stitch in the ditch around designs. Now it doesn't mean that I do stitch in the ditch around every single design, but it is something I like to do to help separate designs and really, you know, create a great custom look. Um, with a design like this, with this butterfly block, I also love to quilt blocks like a butterfly to try to bring them to life. So even though I'm quilting feathers on here, and maybe, yes, I am aware that <laughs> butterflies do not have feathers on their wings, but I do try to quilt things that, like I said, bring them to life. And I feel like by quilting the feathers on this cute butterfly's wings, it really did help bring him to life. The double pebble motif that I'm teaching here is a really fun design and you'll want to check out my book Beginner's Guide to Free Motion Quilting. In there I do show you step by step how to quilt out that design and get fabulous results. Something else you might notice in this video, I just kind of travel all over the place to achieve the results that I can. Whatever helps me to reduce stops and starts is what I like to do. Now, if you are loving these feathers, also make sure you check out my book, Visual Guide to Free Motion Quilting Feathers. In there, I walk you step by step through several types of feathers and hope to inspire you on your own machine quilting journey. I hope you find a little bit of inspiration in this fun little video today, and I'll see you all later. <laughs> 